Hey, this is John from Alloy 211. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some German World War II 7.92 by 57 millimeter APT armor piercing tracer ammunition that I picked up at a local guy knife show over the weekend. Now, I only have five rounds of this ammunition, and I'll get to why I only have five rounds in a moment. But before I do, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have in front of us. Now, forgive my German pronunciation as it is not that great, but I will do my best. This is Spitzgeschluss mit Kern Lichtsperr, something like that, which means roughly translated Spitzer bullet with core and light, so armor piercing tracer. Now, I, when I first saw this, I didn't know for sure that it was armor piercing, but the black tip, and you know, if you look at a lot of this 30 6 black tip stuff, this is AP, and I know some other German 8mm AP was black tip, so I thought I'd take the chance. And I was right. This particular ammunition with the black tip and a red primer pocket indicates that it is, and let's see if we can get the head stamp up here, also with the head stamp, that it is armor piercing tracer ammunition so and this ammunition in particular according to the head stamp or best i could figure out oh although i do want to point out the fact that i don't know for sure whether this is night tracer or just regular tracer ammunition from what i could see it was kind of hard to determine it with the black tip and the red primer paint so but this particular ammunition, I believe, probably from the head stamp, was produced at Finnevar Industries in Brandenburg in 1942. Steel cased, uh, hardened core, and a tracer element. So I've been really looking for some AP ammo because I want to do some AP test into mild steel, and I wanted really wanted to use a full power cartridge like this 8mm Mauser. So in the future, I will be testing this against steel using probably these and i haven't decided yet between using the m75 ball ammunition against it or using the fed arms ammunition i purchased to see which gives a better comparison between an ap round and just a regular full metal jacket round so we'll see about that in the future the reason why i only have five rounds of it is because i picked it up at the gun knife show and it's one of the great things about the gun knife show and i wanted to mention this just gun knife shows in general because i think they're kind of dying out more and more, the more I go to the local gun knife shows, I see that people aren't there as much. Although from what I heard from a lot of the people I talked to there, they did do a lot of brisk sales in AR-15s and handguns over the weekend. But something I think we miss when we do a lot of our online sh online sharping, sharping, shopping for military surplus or ammunition or whatever, rather than go to a gun show, is you miss that personal interaction and not just that, that poking around people's booze. This gentleman has a lot of ammunition many different calibers and just totes and totes full of it i happen to walk up and see a tote of eight millimeter mauser and i've bought other ammunition from this guy before it's been good and as i'm looking through it he has a big like big thing well kind of big because it only had 20 rounds in it but 20 rounds of ap eight millimeter for 40 dollars. i only had 27 dollars in cash on me so i couldn't afford that but i saw this sneaky little stripper clip sitting down in there so I asked him to come over. I asked him what these were, if he knew what they were. And he said he didn't know for sure. There was something left over, just this stripper clip by itself. And he thought the black was just uh, a color country code or something. He wasn't sure. So I asked him how much he wanted for me. He said six bucks. I had 27, tw uh, 20 and seven ones. I said, you know what? Here's seven. I'll take them. And I'm glad I did because when I did my research, I did find out these were the rounds, actually one of the exact rounds I've been looking for to test. And they're not exactly easy to find and $7 is a great price for them, especially since they come with the stripper clip. Now, there are a lot of cool things you can find at the Gun Knife Show, like this. But the biggest thing is the knowledge that you can gain from talking to other people who already know, vendors, people who are collectors, and that sort of thing. Not all of them have good information. In fact, I have seen the myth about these uh, continued on at Gun and Knife Shows even today about the Narinko rounds being armor piercing, and they are not. Or a good example, I saw a gun dealer at a booth over the weekend that had a VZ58, but the little tag for it said AK 7.62 by 39, and my 10-year-old son knew that that was not an AK. But this dealer apparently, I guess, did not, which was kind of uh, disheartening, I guess. 
But overall, in general, gun and knife shows are a great place not only to find cool, off the beaten path sort of little things like this, but also knowledge from other people in the gun community, gun collectors, just a whole menagerie of people. So I encourage everyone the next time they see a local gun knife show. Now I imagine a lot of the people that watch my videos generally go to the gun knife shows in their area. But if you don't, I encourage you to go and look at some cool stuff and gain some knowledge. Now in the future, like I said, we will be testing these, the penetration ability against mild steel and AR 400 3 8 plate. I am really hopeful that this will go through one of those two. So if you liked the video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you watch some of our other videos and like those too, I'd appreciate if you subscribed. Oh, oh, one more thing I did want to point out. The tips on these 8mm Mauser rounds, this is not paint. This is actually a chemical treatment that turns them black. So if you find some that look like these 30 6 where they are painted, really, really check your head stamp. Make sure that it is AP stuff. Because even if you're a gun knife show with some relatively legitimate people, you never know. You can always have somebody that wants to sell you something that's less than legitimate. So thanks for watching and have a great day.